Now in this video I'm going to show you how I use my re-imaging software Macrium Reflect. So I press the power on button and then I press F12 to go into the BIOS settings. So as soon I'm keeping pressing, I keep pressing F12 until the it's, it says preparing one time boot. Okay. Now from here Let's get back into the focus there. What I do is I need to go to that actual USB key, which is there. So I choose that one. That's my Macrium. That's my imaging software boot key. And then over here is where my actual um, images are. My images. Let's focus back in there. Okay. So going back to here, we just press in that one there. Now it takes a few minutes to load up and while it's doing so just to give you an outline why I like to use this. If you have I suppose periodic machines that you wish to re-image quite simply and without much difficulty and so forth this Macrium tool that I use is very 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 neat and a nice feature for that. It is relatively reasonable in price um, and it's fairly straightforward to use. So there is your splash screen for Macrium and there it is there. So it's Macrium Reflect. What version do I have? 7.3 and it's, it's relatively well, it's not new, but it's not old either. Now, when you get in here, then, what one needs to do is... Um, well, in this instance, I'm going to restore an image. So, I click on... Okay, so I'm in restore. I click on backup. Browse for an image. So, I press that. Then I go to my... Virtual box there, which is named the Silver Terabyte. If I go in there, then I go to the actual images that I have there. And I have a sysprepped image on that particular external USB key there. So I choose that one. And it's for a particular machine. I suppose naming convention for yourself is good as well. So I imaged that from this particular machine and I stated it was sysprepped. And I just choose that and press OK. Then I need to choose the actual de destination for that particular image. Um, so I... What do I do next? Okay, so 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 that is it, and then I press restore image. Okay, so it's selected that image from the the actual um, US the external memory. Let me just zoom back in there. Okay, restore image. Press that, and then I get this screen popping up. And I need to choose, so I need to select the destination, which is this particular computer hard drive. And if I choose that, now it's given me two options that it has found. It's found two, it's found two destination memory drives. One is the external drive, and I've named that, so you need to be careful to make sure that you choose the correct drive. And this then is the internal drive. How do I know that? Well, it's by basically uh, ascertaining what the, what the internal spec is. So I know that this particular Dell machine has 256 gigabytes. And basically I'm certain that that is the actual computer, the laptop that I want to re-image. So I choose that and there it is. It's it's selected in there for the destination, and there's the source. And from, from there, 
let me just confirm oh yes it is that is the case so i just wanted to confirm that this source is the correct source and there it is yep it is from the d drive and that is the the image and then this is the destination which is my 256 again you have to be quite meticulous in being sure of the target and in this instance i'm going to actually delete the, the said partitions and I choose that, delete them, so that essentially wipes the entire computer. Now I'd imagine if you just press and continue on as is it would wipe it as well but just to be sure, to be sure. And from there then I just press next and then I get just a bit of a brief summary and I choose finish and then I get another warning I press the all target volume data will be overwritten I press continue and that starts cooking away it could take roughly about five minutes to do depending on the size of the the um, image and so forth and that's basically it. When you launch, then you go into make sure the BIOS are correctly configured so that it can boot from the device. And I might show you a separate video for that later. Thank you for watching.